At the assembly facility, Turkey displays its first fifth-generation fighter plane, which is scheduled to complete the prototype stage by 2023. As the fourth country in the world to join the fifth-generation fighter jet club, it is one of the most anticipated projects for Turkey. Due to numerous issues, including engine and avionics, it was slightly delayed from its original schedule. One of the main obstacles for Turkey is building the aircraft, and another one is having its own engine. The program has seen a number of delays. At first, Turkey asked GE to provide the engine, but things didn't work out since Americans weren't interested in helping Turkey. Later, Rolls-Royce and the Russians showed interest in the project, but it's still unknown which engine would be used. Currently, GE is providing the engine for testing purposes, and it is capable of producing 127 kN of thrust. The later stage development of a domestically manufactured engine will be the operation of Turkey's main goal. On the occasion of the Moscow Air Show in 2019, Russian President Vladimir Putin offered the Sukhoi Su-57 engine. The Turkish TFX aircraft will be equipped with contemporary aviation technologies, such as a touchscreen for a quick overview and operation of the aircraft. This aircraft is equipped with most of the aircraft's arsenal, as well as many more weapons, such as the MBDA and other air-to-air -air and ground missiles. To sustain the diplomatic ties between the United States and Russia in light of the events, Turkey is carefully selecting its partner. Critical design review activities will be carried out in 2024. The first aircraft, known as Block Zero, will be produced in 2025, and the first flight will be done in 2026. Up until 2029, the Block One configuration is expected to be developed. Ten Block One fighter jets will be produced as part of Phase Two, and they will be handed over to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 and 2033. The TFX Next Generation fighter, which is being manufactured by Turkish Aerospace Industries, is beginning to take shape in a video that was just released. The jet's size immediately creates an impression. General Electric F110 engines will be used in prototypes until the Turkish KL and British Rolls-Royce joint ventures Teak engine is finished and ready. Ismail Demir added that a third engine, from an unidentified country, was discovered in addition to these two. This is expected to have a one- and two-seat variant, measure 68 feet in length, 45 feet in wingspan, and stand 19 feet tall. It will be able to fly at a speed of 2470 km per hour, reaching a height of 55,000 feet, and have a combat range of 1,100 km. Along with Turkey's TFX program, which is now developing its fifth-gen fighter plane, South Korea, China, and India are also competing in this development race. The US and Europe are preparing for the sixth-generation fighter program in advance of this. The Turkey's F-16 fighter jets in the defense squad will be replaced by TFX aircraft. Once the aircraft is operational, this will be a breakthrough for the Turkish defense program. This aircraft is equipped with all the most recent technology that a fifth-generation fighter jet must have. Comment here with your thoughts on Turkey's fifth-generation fighter jet program.